Command. Colonial Viper Squadrons approaching in large numbers. Our Raiders are still engaged against the Galactica. Hi everyone, welcome to Battlestar Galactica. I was recently talking to a Star Wars collector who asked me if any company over the past, say, 20 years came out with a deluxe, say, 15-inch talking Cylon Centurion action figure. And the answer is no. The closest we've ever gotten to something like that that was sophisticated was this bobblehead figure by Biff Bang Pow. Now, I know that when he first came out in 2013, he was not very popular with collectors, but now, all of a sudden, he is becoming very hard to find and has shot up in price. Now, this gold Cylon Commander has a really nice, strong voice chip that says three different lines from the TV show and also has a really nice strobing eye effect. I mean, it's very, very strong in the dark and looks awesome. Just take a look at it right there. Now, this shows that way back in 2013, the technology was there to pull off a convincing, large-scale, you know, 15, 18-inch Cylon Centurion. I'm really surprised that no company did it. I mean, when the Reimagined series came out, so many different manufacturers jumped on the toy bandwagon, especially Diamond Select Toys, and this would have been a natural piece for them. They could have done a classic Silent Centurion and a reimagined Silent Centurion. Just imagine having one of those each on your display shelf. So here you have the Biff Bang Pow convention exclusive gold Cylon Commander that came out in 2013. There is a regular silver Cylon Centurion figure just like this, just a different paint color that is more readily available. So if this is something that interests you, definitely check it out, definitely pick him up. He looks awesome. Again, he talks strong and his eye effect is just as good. Really, really bright, especially when the room is dim. Now there is something that is very odd about this figure and you may have noticed it why I was doing this review. And it's that there is no way to access the battery compartment. For some strange reason, there is a piece of felt covering the base of this figure. Now, I don't know if it was done on purpose. I don't know if it was a mistake. But in either event, you're going to have to peel back that felt when the battery starts to wear out. Now, I've owned this particular figure for over a decade, and he's still going strong. So I have no idea what battery biff bang pow use but whatever it is it's working great so i hope you enjoy this episode everyone please subscribe please hit that thumbs up if you like this episode have a great galactica day and i will see you soon